What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to play both GameCube and Wii games on your iPhone 11 and any new iOS device as long as it's jailbroken. Growing up on both Wii and GameCube games, the fact that this is even doable is something really cool. Today I'm going to show how to install the application, how to connect up a Bluetooth controller, and then also I'm going to show you some gameplay. The first thing we have to do is add the repo that is on the screen now and also down below in the description. And once you have that installed, just search for Dolphin iOS and you can play any GameCube game you want. Whether it's GameCube or Wii, Dolphin iOS has got you covered. So the nice thing about Dolphin iOS is you can choose between using a touchscreen interface or a physical controller. However, the touchscreen controls are not going to be as good as a regular controller would be. While playing with just the touchscreen on the go might be a little bit more convenient, whether in portrait or in landscape mode, a controller does work better. It controls better and it just feels like a better experience. What do you think though? Personally, I think playing with a controller is better. So what controllers will work with Dolphin iOS? Well, any controllers that work with iOS 13, you will be able to use for Dolphin iOS. So things like the DualShock controller, the Xbox controller, things like that you will be able to use. So if you have a DualShock controller like me, all you have to do to connect it via Bluetooth is hold down the share button and the PlayStation button, the center button, until you see the light continuously flash and then you are in pairing mode. Then you go over to the Bluetooth settings in the device and you just connect the controller. From here, you wanna to go to the controllers option in the settings and then go over to device and then see where it says DualShock and then just go ahead and press yes. You also can map different buttons on the controller to do different things and that is adjustable through the settings. And something I didn't notice at first is in the config settings, if you have always show top bar enabled, then it will come up with this sort of annoying top bar. So to fix that, you just turn that off. And I gotta say, even playing it like this, it runs really smoothly. Of course, it is on my iPhone 11. And I noticed playing other games seemed just as smooth. It's a really nice experience. It seems like playing some games, like GameCube games, on my iPhone 6S runs decently, but some more intensive games have a serious problem with lag. Another thing that's really cool, using iOS's built-in screen mirroring feature, if you have an Apple TV, you can play these games on your TV. Some people love Delta, they love GBA for iOS, but this emulator, Dolphin iOS, lets me relive all of my childhood memories. Whether it's GameCube or Wii games, this is really cool. I'm playing SpongeBob, a game I played back in the early 2000s on my GameCube as a kid, on my iPhone 11 now in 2020. Wii games are also really cool. The fact that I can play Super Mario Galaxy on my iPhone 11 is really cool. Especially for this game, I think I would recommend using a controller. You can't use a regular Wii remote right now, but support for that in the future might be coming because I think the regular Wii remote is Bluetooth. So as soon as the developer figures out a good way of being able to use it, that's when I think it'll be supported. If you're playing with a Bluetooth controller, I would play around with the settings and with mapping different buttons in different places because you might get a better experience if you map a particular button in a different place. For example, on the DualShock controller, there basically is no shake gyroscope on the controller. So to be able to shake like I've been doing, you have to map that to an actual button. In this case, I think I used L1. All right, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the gameplay. Of 
course, as I've said, performance of the game depends on the device that you're using. The iPhone 11 plays pretty well, but the iPhone 6s, if it's not cutscenes, you can see how much this game lags. So for those of you with an older device like an iPhone 6s, I would suggest investing in a newer test device, whether that's a new iPad or something, so that way you don't have to play like this. As far as actually getting ROMs for the games, there are ways to go about doing it. There's a legitimate way of getting a physical Wii and then putting in a physical copy of a game, whether that's a Wii game or GameCube game, and dumping the ISO file. You can do that. I'll leave a link down below in the description for a tutorial on how to do that. It's a little bit confusing, but as far as other ways, if you Google around, you can find it, but I'm not gonna be providing the other ways in this video. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button, and also let me know in the comments what GameCube or Wii game that you're gonna play. Make sure to go check out my top 40 free iOS 13 jailbreak tweaks video in the cards and in the description as well. There's a lot of cool tweaks in that video, and they're all free, so it might be worth checking out. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know by subscribing and turning on that post notification bell, so that way you never miss out on an upload. Again, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Peace.